for joining us now from Queensland is Malcolm Roberts, who is the new One Nation Senator for the State of Queensland. He joins us now from Brisbane. Senator-elect, congratulations. Thank you very much, Paul. It's a pleasure to be here. So... So, so give me, give me I hope an that's idea. answered your question. Uh, you no, know, absolutely. So I, I want it because, again, I want to get a, a, an idea of you because already the lefty press have started to build a caricature around you. Deniers of the evidence for human-caused climate change tend to distort their narratives on the subject by falsely claiming political ideology drives the motives of the world scientists in their conclusions that Earth is warming anomalously and humans are the cause. The truth is that the world's geophysicists reached consensus on the subject regardless of their political beliefs, and regardless of what they wish the conclusions were. Acceptance of the evidence among the world's geophysicists that humans have caused Earth to warm and therefore have caused Earth's climates to change anomalously spans the entire political spectrum. This is not true among politicians in some countries, for example the United States of America and Australia. Among politicians and within political ideological groups, it is the case that liberals and progressives tend to accept the evidence for human-caused climate change, and conservatives and regressives reject that evidence. This political divisiveness regarding human-caused climate change only exists in a tiny handful of the world's approximately 205 countries. So tell us, what is your view on things like climate change, same-sex marriage, all the stuff that the media obsess about? Well, I've been responsible for hundreds of people's lives at a time, uh, based on my knowledge of atmospheric gases, statutory responsibilities, an honours engineering degree. I also have a, a, an MBA from the University of Chicago. I excelled there, got, got awards for my academic achievements and my contribution to the university. Having an education outside a science venue does not make a person's opinion on that subject wrong. However, it does not make that opinion right. An engineer's opinion can be correct regarding geophysics and atmospheric chemistry, but it is unlikely to be correct when it is contrary to all of the scientists who actually work in those fields. And that made me pretty strong on statistics. But what I'm getting to is that Malcolm Roberts believes in making his decisions based upon empirical evidence. And empirical evidence is simply real-world measured data, real-world observations. I like to see the facts before I give an opinion. Senator Roberts' opinion is contrary to the facts and is therefore worthless. If he actually believes what he claims to believe, then I suggest he seek some remedial junior high school education in critical thinking and perhaps some mental health care services. So they can, they can go on all they want about distractions. It comes back to one thing on climate change. Where is the empirical evidence that proves cause and effect that production of carbon dioxide by humans is affecting global climate? And it is unilateral. There is no such evidence anywhere in the world. None. The evidence that shows that humans have caused and are causing climate change is overwhelming, irrefutable, and no longer debated among the world's geophysicists. It is happening, and humans are the cause. Observations from all over the globe directly measure significant increases in carbon dioxide and methane concentrations. Water vapor, methane, nitrous oxide, and carbon dioxide, despite making up only 1% of Earth's atmosphere, make the difference between Earth being an uninhabitable ball of ice and supporting life. A little bit goes a long way. Atmospheric carbon isotopes show that the carbon dioxide increase is due to the burning of fossil fuels and no other natural occurrence. Global temperatures are increasing in a stair-step manner, which is consistent with the anomalous external force being imposed on a cyclical climate system. Only increased atmospheric carbon dioxide explains these observations. Record high maximum temperatures as well as record high minimum temperatures are outpacing record low temperatures and record low minimum temperatures by a wide margin. Only increased atmospheric carbon dioxide explains why. The troposphere is warming while the stratosphere is cooling. Only increased atmospheric carbon dioxide explains why. Measurements show that outgoing long-wave infrared radiation from the Earth into space is decreasing and emanating from a higher and higher altitude. Only increased atmospheric carbon dioxide explains why. Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity?